shaking savior if you got chains he's a chain breaker Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Encouraging Moment with the Pools. Woohoo! Oh, glory to God. Our scripture comes out of Acts 16, starting in verse 29. What leads up to this is Paul and Silas have been in jail, and they've been praising the Lord, and the gates were opened, and, and, and they were set free. Uh, I, I encourage you to go back and read this whole chapter, but we're going to pick up in verse 29. The jailer called for the lights, rushed in, and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He then brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you shall be saved, Woo! you and your household. Oh, glory to God. We were out of town and at a revival, and you know how we are. If we're out of town at a revival, we're going to be singing during the daytime somewhere. Oh, glory That's to right. God. We were in front of a grocery store, and we'd been there for a couple of hours. And We saw a woman come into the store, and as she went into the store, the Lord said, Catch her on her way out. And she actually caught us on the way out. That's on her right. way out, she came with a flat of eggs. And she said, I want to pray for my brother. We haven't seen him in several days. We're worried. Mama Amen. ain't got no rest. Amen. We said, all right, let's pray for you. Are you saved? She said, no, I'm not. So Amen. we led her to the Lord. Glory and to we God. prayed for her brother. She showed up at that revival that night. And I'll tell you what, when I saw her walk in, she was so beautiful in the spirit. I just began to weep. Amen. God's so awesome. And he transforms us. He makes us brand new. The next day we went out to sing at that very same store. We sang for nearly three or four hours. Amen. We were there and we were singing. I noticed across the street there was a, a, a few people working in a ditch across the street that looked like they worked for the city. Yeah, and so all day forth. long. We were just about to wrap up and I gave an altar call over the, over the microphone. Just an open air altar call, glory to God. Thinking maybe someone in the house around there or, or maybe in the business that we were in front of uh, singing would be listening and want to give their heart to Jesus. All at once I heard cars coming to a screech, amen. And this uh, young man jumped out of the ditch and he ran over and he said, listen, pray for me. And I, I'm in a bad way. It reminded me of like Paul and Silas. What must I do to be saved? Amen. <laughs> he said, I ain't got time. I got to get back over in that ditch or my boss will pull back up and see me not over there and fire me. But listen, just pray for me. So I, I threw down my stuff and I began to walk with him all the way to the road. And by the time we got to the road, amen, he had done give his heart to Jesus. Oh, God is so good. That evening, we, uh, we went back to revival. And the young lady from the day before, she showed up crying. Amen. I thought, oh, goodness, what has happened? And she Go said, no, these are tears of joy. You see, someone was in front of that same store singing today. And my brother was Thank working you, in a ditch across the street and gave his heart to Jesus. Oh, glory to God. He is so good. God's got you and he's got your family. What must you do to be saved? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, whoever believes in him would not perish. Oh, glory to Blessings. God. Blessings. God bless you. Hey,